Voter turnout in Trumbull and Columbiana counties is expected to reach record levels, while West Branch Local School's new animal husbandry program offers students hands-on experience raising livestock, which will ultimately supply the district's cafeterias. Those stories and more on today's Daily Buzz. The Daily Buzz is brought to you by 717 Credit Union. Hello everyone, welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. Election officials in Trumbull and Columbiana counties are anticipating about 75% voter turnout in the upcoming general election, judging by early voting trends. Both counties have seen steady in-person voting activity. Trumbull County's Stephanie Penrose and Columbiana County's Kim Fusco reported robust participation at their respective board offices as early voting continued. In Trumbull County, the Ohio Secretary of State's database indicates 18,977 absentee ballots were requested, with 13,936 returned, marking a 73% return rate. Additionally, over 13,000 500 in-person votes have been recorded at the Trumbull County Board of Elections. In Columbiana County, 7,055 absentee ballots were requested with 4,651 returned, a 66% return rate, alongside nearly 6,900 in-person votes. In neighboring Mahoney County, 17,044 have voted early in person, while 10,585 of 23,985 requested absentee ballots have been returned, a return rate of 44 percent. Across Ohio, over 1 million absentee ballots have been requested, with a 64 percent return rate reported by the Ohio Secretary of State's office. Early in-person voters in Ohio total nearly 908,000. By fall 2026, lunches at West Branch Local School District will include beef from steers raised by its high school students. The district received a $250,000 state grant this year to establish an animal husbandry program. Construction on a new barn recently began with groundwork underway. The building phase is set to start next spring and animals are expected on site the following fall. The district plans to buy 5 to 12 steers, each weighing 7 to 800 pounds. Students will handle their care, including feeding, watering, and vaccinations. Once the cattle reach 1,400 pounds, the district's food service department will purchase the animals for school cafeterias. The district lost USDA-provided beef last year, prompting Superintendent Mickey Egley to propose the idea of raising cattle for school meals. A $40,000 farm-to-school grant from the state helped fund necessary equipment like fencing, gates, and feed bins. And photographs by local resident Richard Hahn are on display in a solo exhibition at the Butler Institute of American Art. The exhibit, titled Facades, runs through November 24th and features images of building exteriors and structures across the Tri-County area. Hahn subjects include historic buildings, storefronts, murals, and graffiti-covered walls. Some are iconic, while others are less noticed yet visible in daily life. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, savings power to give your business an extra boost. Business savings, certificates, and business money market. Seven Seventeen Credit Union, make your money work as hard as you do. Check out our business money market and CD rates at seven seventeen cu.com/rates.